Yo, yo, Daily Fire, if it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. For all your supplement needs, go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, Daily Fire, episode 318. We out here, Danny. All right, there's a process to success. Now, one of my favorite things that every hater says first is, must be nice. Oh, gee, blah, 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 must be nice. No haters start with, oh, you worked hard, that's awesome. They always say, must be fucking nice. So here's what I'm going to say. None of this is on accident. It's a process. Now, levels of success are kind of crazy. Now, to me, here's the way that I process success. I got out of the coal mine, and I started my first studio, gym, by age 20. I've been successful since then. Now, there's levels of it, and you could dictate, and everybody's level of success and understanding is different. Is it a money thing? Is it a time thing? Is it a impact thing? Like, that's for you to determine. But I'm just telling you, I felt successful from living in a trailer and being a coal miner to now doing fitness as a job, right? So what I'm going to explain to you, though, is no one just came down one day and said, let me knight you, Danny, let me knight you a successful trainer. I'm just making sure you know no one fucking did that. I fucking took it because I said, okay, what do the greats do? What do I have to do? What kind of processes do I have to put in motion? What do I physically, personally have to try and do? Every diet I've ever asked anybody to do, I've done. Every training program I've ever asked anybody to do, I've done. Trial and error because I didn't have some crazy elaborate, you know, fucking college education. I had to get in the fucking trenches and figure it out. And so... No one just said, gee, because you like to work out and you don't want to be a coal miner. You are going to be a successful trainer. Nah, fuck that. Actually, everything was stacked against me. Everything was stacked against me because I didn't have a a four-year degree, because I never competed in anything. I didn't even get the fucking desk job at World Gym. I did not listen to me for a second. When I moved to Columbus... I interviewed with Mr. Lormer, who did not hire me for the desk job at World Gym, but later became, you know, obviously kind of my de facto business partner with Arnold. We got to talk about this and laugh, but he said my heart wasn't in the desk job. Okay, are you fucking kidding me? Like, (laughs) of course it's not in the fucking desk job. I was trying to get the desk job and be in a system, which would have been World Gym at the time, to learn. And I couldn't even fucking get that right. So I realized that once again, I was on my own, that no one was going to save me. And guess what? I had no one to fucking cry to because my mom was so fucking busy working, trying to pay the bills. I couldn't cry to her. My dad was fucking who knows where I couldn't cry to him. I didn't have a girlfriend that early. I guess I did meet Rachel soon after that at Panama City. Shout out Rachel. But I couldn't cry to her. No one was there to cry to. So then I'm left with myself without being knighted by a fucking king that I got to fucking figure it out. And so I had to create a process. It's the same thing as when you're coming to me and saying, gee, right now, my strategy for weight loss and my strategy to get stronger and my strategy to be able to try to balance it all and to feel confident is not fucking working. Is your strategy fucking working? The one that you're putting into place right now, probably not. And maybe it is. That's why people come here. Because it's a process to success. By the way, I have to remind motherfuckers, this isn't my hobby. Now, it is my hobby. It is my passion. It is what I love to do. But it's my fucking job. It has been my job full time. I started my LLC in 1999. But I've been training people since 1998. I'm about to be 45 years old. I've been doing this full time for 25 years. You think I ain't figured some shit out by now? You think I didn't figure some shit out by now. So it's a process. Now, is it easy? Fuck no, it's not easy. Are you signing up for real results or are you signing up for easy? Are you signing up for me to make you uncomfortable so I can make you better or are you signing up for easy? I'm not the easy sign up. I'm not the easy guy. I'm the guy that's actually going to make a fucking difference in your life. 
I'm the guy that's actually going to teach you stuff. So then when you're done with this, you always know it's an education. You're investing in yourself. Oh, wait a second. This is not G's hobby. This is his actual job. He's been doing it on his own for 25 fucking years. Maybe I should try and learn something from him. And it's really not that expensive. And then I can take that and then add on top of it to create my lifestyle that I'm looking for. There's a process to the fucking success. It's the same thing with business. It's the same thing in fitness. You know what? You should make sure and watch the Arnold documentary on Netflix because he explains applying the discipline in the gym right to the business. I watched him with my own eyes do it all the time. He would travel across the world, be up at five o'clock for a bike ride. And then on top of it, he'd be reviewing the stuff we was working on and then on the nine other things. And he just kept pushing discipline, lifestyle, business, discipline, lifestyle, business. It's right there. It's a fucking process. So my daily fire today is for you to think, is your fucking process working? And if it's not, search out a process to try. Now, I would love for you to come try mine, of course, because it's a business and I want to help you, but I genuinely want to see you get better. I believe in my process and I know it works, but think about this. The next time you go to say, Hey Cole, I really like that graphic. Must be nice. Do you know that Cole did a million fucking hours tweaking those graphics before it got that fucking great and that he still thinks it could be better? That's why it's fucking great. So think about that the next time you think, I wonder what kind of time these motherfuckers, what kind of time is really put in when I'm just throwing that shade out there like, oh, it must be cool. Yeah, well, it must be fucking cool. Fuck off. It's not that cool. I fucking worked hard for it, all right? I didn't get fucking knighted. That's why I started. All right, Daily Fire, we out of here. Later.